These instructions are for the modern wall kit. This kit is suitable for a max span of 2 square meters. If your run is greater, then you will need additional kits. Before you begin, please ensure you have all the components listed. Make sure you have the right tools for the job. You will need a tape measure, a pencil, a level, some adhesive, a wood saw and also a nail gun. In this guide we will cover an installation on a 2 meter wall. Measure up 1 meter from the top of the skirting board and mark with a pencil. Using a spirit level, draw a horizontal line across the wall. Measure the length of the wall and if required, cut enough strips from the 2 meter slats to run across both the top of the skirting and across the horizontal line you've just drawn. Our wall is 2 meters, so no cuts are required. Apply adhesive to the backs of the strips. Offer the strips up to the horizontal line and secure the strips with the nail gun. Then repeat the process for along the top of the skirting board as well as the decorative capping which should sit on top of the top strip. To work out the equal distance between the vertical strips, first we need to measure the wall and subtract one panel strip. Our wall is 2000 mm long and the wall strips are 63 wide, so 2000 minus 63 equals 1937. Divide this by how many panels you prefer. In this example we're using 3 panels, so 1937 divided by 3 equals 646. Now subtract the width of one strip, so 646 minus 63 equals 583, and that is the distance between the strips. Next we need to measure the distance between the top and bottom strips and cut the vertical strips to that measurement. Apply adhesive to the vertical strips and offer a strip up to the left of the run. Now secure the panel using the nail gun. Then repeat the process for the right of the run. Using the measurement we previously worked out for the distance between vertical strips, in our case 583 mm. Measure that distance from an end strip and draw a vertical line. Offer a strip up to the wall along the line you've just drawn and then secure using the nail gun. Repeat the process for the remaining strips. Once all your panels are on the wall, fill any gaps and joints with decorator's cork, wiping away any excess with a damp cloth. Once the cork has dried, sand it to a smooth finish then you'll be ready to paint. Once it's painted it'll be time to stand back and admire your work. For inspiration.